Well, I've intentionally left um, out River State in my commentaries and in my analysis for the time being. I knew it had been a raging issue. Some of my friends have asked me to comment on it, but I don't feel that the issue deserves my attention. In my view, there are a lot of issues that are much more pressing to Nigerians than having two former friends fighting dirty at the marketplace. And um, if I'm to offer any view on that, it will be restricted to maybe two or three. One is that you now see the fertility in governors spending their dying moments in office, fighting, spending, and bulldozing their way to have their successors coming. And at the end of each of those experiments, apart from two, maybe what happened in Kwara State between Abdul Razak and the um, uh, former Senate president uh, um, from Kwara, the former governor, apart from that, almost all relationships stand sour in a few months. Some of them may not be publicly uh, 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 on display, like you've seen the madness in River State. But then why do you want to go through this lens to install a governor? Because, look, it's not the people that vote this kind of people. It's their predecessors that bulldoze them into office. And then afterwards, you start fighting. That's one on one level. At the second level, the fight is not even between Wiki and Fubara. The fight is between the political elite and the masses, and we know who will suffer. It's already the masses who are suffering from these issues. Because now governance in River State has taken a backseat, whereas politics and demolition of houses, resignation, counter-resignations, defections, counter-defections are taking place. Amidst all of these things, you ask yourself, what happens to the school children? What happens to the market women? What happens to the people who will be needing uh, public health services in River State? These are areas that the government has divested attention from just so that they can focus on the battle. So when people are taking sides between Wiki and Fubara, I see people, you're not, you know, analyzing properly. It's not has nothing to do between taking supporting Wiki or supporting Fubara. What is happening is that clearly governance has taken the back seat and political gladiators are matching it out in the public domain. So I think that people should recalibrate and see who is really fighting. It's the political elite fighting against the masses, not Wiki fighting against the Fubara. That's the way I choose to look at it. Are our leaders learning any lesson from this godfatherism? Because it is now deeply entrenched, Kogi in my mind. Mm -hmm. You can see what happened a few weeks ago, and this is what is happening in Rivers. To tell you the truth, I think that they're, they're enjoying it. You see, the adrenaline of being in the news, from, for someone like Wiki, if you really looked at his career trajectory, every time you hear Wiki in the news, he's fighting someone. Whether it's installing secondus, fighting secondus, installing McCarthy, fighting McCarthy, you know, the, there is a list fighting judges, protecting judges. Wiki has so his second name is Fight. He's just doing it, he does this for a fun. So if you didn't expect this from him, in fact, what would you have expected Wiki to do? To sit down and quietly become a minister of the state, uh, FCT? No, he will still fight something to fight. After Fubara, I predict it on your station, Wiki will find another person to fight because this is just him. And so I think he gets his attention, the public attention from this. I also think he's doing this because he gets adrenaline. It keeps him busy. It makes him feel relevant. And this is the same thing with governors, outgoing governors. Now, mid way into their second term in office for people who were privileged to get second terms. You see that they've done this for six years, seven years. There's nothing again. It doesn't kick. There's no that kick, that adrenaline you get waking up in the morning. And so what is the next best thing to do? To try to install someone. So they call it a major project. And they devote six or seven months into installing. So that running around gives them joy. And then what then do you do when you're now an ex-governor? To sit down and retire in peace? No, you have to find someone to fight. And so that fight also. So I, I see that our political gladiators are enjoying this thing. Whether it's Wiki versus Fubara, whether it's what is going to happen soon in Kogi or wherever, I think they are enjoying this. And it's time for us to sit back. And why must the citizens keep voting, assuming that they were the ones that voting? Why would someone who we have given a seven or eight year mandate, and after the mandate, we've seen that this person may not have done to the best of his capacity or may not have fulfilled all the promises, and yet that same person comes back to prescribe to us who should succeed him. I mean, the assumption is that one person, Wiki, is now, his intelligence is now superior to that of all the voters in River State. To say that the voters in River State do not know who they should pick. If they had the wisdom to vote you, Wiki, why do you think that they won't exercise that wisdom in voting who will replace you? Why must it be you, the outgoing governor, who should prescribe to us, who should even hold our nose and force it down our throats, who should become the governor in your state? So I think that the citizens need to sit back and have this discussion. It's not about the godfather, the godson. It's about what or who or what processes should be the best 
for delivery of good governance, which is always the end point. The end point is governance, not the names. We don't care whether we care is the governor of River State. We don't care if it is Fubara or Similai or anything. What the people care is that at the time you need governance services that they are there for you. If you have accident, that emergency care services are there for you. If you have school children that they are taught properly in the school, those are the deliverables you are focused on, not whether we care Fubara. I don't focus on people. I like focusing on the issues. Sir.